Hey, it's Mike Moo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the battery of your Subaru key fob. I'm going to show on a screen what kind of battery that you need. And um, you're going to want to get something like a screwdriver to go ahead and open it. Here I'm using a Swiss Army knife. If you take really, really close look at the edge of the key, you'll see this little tab right here. And that's where you're going to stick the screwdriver in there and, and give it a twist. Now I've seen some other people say, hey, um, just use your keys or some other tools around. I would advise against doing that because I've seen some key fobs just get damaged uh, over the years. And yeah, a lot of it is cosmetic, but sooner or later you do something wrong and um, you know you could permanently damage your key. All right, so uh, once you're in there, there's actually the whole transmitter module um, inside separate from the key that physically goes in there. There are some tabs around uh, there, and you could just use your fingernails and carefully, gently, just put your fingernail in between, okay? Don't rip it out. You can also use your screwdriver. I prefer to use fingernails um, because, you know, my nails have actually grown out a bit here when I was doing this video. But you can actually use tiny little screwdrivers. Remember that these parts are delicate, okay? So you want to be very careful in doing that. You're going to have to remove uh, four tabs total but you can just do two at once um, to get in there. And then you can see there's a uh, there's actually this rubber uh, gasket around the entire key transmitter area. And, um, you know, when you peel that open on one side, you'll see, uh, make note of the way the battery is in there right now, okay? So um, there's actually a positive side and a negative side to the battery. It's the positive side that faces down uh, against the side of this key fob, okay? So that's the exact same way that you're going to go ahead and stick that in there. And you're going to go ahead and want to get one of those um, coin cell batteries. Obviously, I'll have a link down below where you can just go ahead and order them. I often get them on Amazon. I used to get them from Fry's Electronics, but, you know, you know Fry's Electronics doesn't have any stock anymore. So, uh, you know, while this is open, you probably want to get a, just a little bit closer look, just clean out anything in case there's any gunk in there. There really shouldn't be, but if there is, that means that your seal was... Um, was no good. So you want to be uh, very careful about that. And um, these batteries, I believe they have around 3.3 volts when they're uh, when they're brand new. So um, mine wasn't completely due for changing yet, but you know, it was getting close. I noticed the range wasn't as good and um, I'm getting about 3.0 volts. So um, this is still gonna work just fine in my remote controller. But at the same time, I just want to get a little bit more range. And when I buy these batteries uh, from Amazon, I usually get them in bulk, okay? So they're not going to be at the nominal 3.3 volts, but it's going to be like 3.2, 3.25, 3.28. And um, it's, just, it's just going to let me um, get that much more range uh, typically from my key fob. So again, it's just really important that um, in this inside part that you just really uh, pried those pieces um, just slightly off and don't pull down and bend them all down there. And if you do, I guess that's not the worst mistake in the world. Uh, I have seen people who uh, don't use tools and just kind of power through this and they end up with broken tabs and you know, worst case scenarios is uh, you just basically tape it up. Yeah, you just tape tape the edges. But the, yeah, that's it. So um, it's it's really easy to do. It only takes a couple of minutes. I definitely did this. Uh, I, I definitely took my time in this just to show you a little bit more detail about doing, but just removing it, replacing it, it's really simple, really, really quick. You don't need to spend $20 at the dealer to get this done. All right, hope this video is useful to you. Please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.